What is going on? Charles Botenston here. We are going to be talking about habits, something that has really been crossing my mind lately. A is because there's a couple of habits that I want to install in my ha- in my life. You know, this is the thing is that a lot of people, they see someone like, I don't know, maybe when Conor McGregor was in his prime or they see The Rock or they see Tom Brady and they see him at their elite level. And one of the biggest things that I actually took away from a conversation that I didn't hear from them, but I heard from someone else and I forgot who it was. It was it was a very well-known public figure and they said I'm just lazy that's why I'm just fearful of just stopping in other words they know and that really clicked for me is like holy shit I am too which is I am so lazy when it comes to doing things that I if, if I stop which I did earlier this summer it's really hard for me to pick up sales calls again you know it's really hard for me to pick up video say say producing this like there was a three week period where I didn't produce any videos whatsoever and then picking that up you had that pitter patter of the heart it's like it's like starting a new season every single time every NFL player steps onto the field they just they, they have that pitter patter because they're not used to it that habit was broken over the summer when the season ended or when the playoffs ended or when they won the Super Bowl or whatever the case is you know what's his name talks about resistance Steven Pressfield I, I just plowed through all of his books you know do the uh, do the work turning pro and his the war of art those three books highly recommend you go check those out and the biggest thing for me was actually understanding holy shit Resistance could take any form. It could take mindset, it could take drinking, it could take socializing, it could take sex or masturbation, it could take anything. So installing the habits, one of the biggest things to install in the habits is understanding why are you not installing the habit or why you broke the previous habit. So for me, I want to focus on three areas. The reason I broke my last habit is that I said, okay, I'm really focused on fitness and I'm really focused on business, but my relationships are really suffering. So I said, okay, I'm going to focus on business. And actually I said, I'm going to focus on fitness and relationships and then business started. So now I'm, I'm in that paradigm right now, that shift of saying, okay, how do I incorporate all three? How do I go to the gym every single morning? How do I have a very productive day? And how do I install, say, you know, a social life on either weekends or weekdays, going to parties, meeting girls, going on dates, Fridays and Saturdays, you know, so it's this this whole molding, okay? So number one is everyone is in your shoes at one time, regardless of how high up they are. And then when this, this public figure, forgetting who the freaking person is, but they said that once they actually noticed they were lazy, that they couldn't stop, whether it was being on TV or or going to the gym or putting out original content or whatever the case is, just look at your life. So it's a prerequisite to layering multiple habits. This is the thing is you can't layer multiple habits without installing one habit at a time. This is the thing, a lot of people say, I wanna wake up early, I wanna go to the gym, I wanna make sales calls, and if none of those are already in your life, it you're not gonna do it. And then guess what, you're gonna give up because that's what I did. I, I, I say, I'm gonna wake up early, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna make sales calls, and then I'm gonna produce content like this, I'm gonna do it all, no. That doesn't happen. You have to focus on the first thing in your day, then move up. So the first thing in your day is, you wanna wake up early? Start waking up early. Then you, once you've already woken up early, you feel productive, then you go to the gym. And, I, and I'm gonna preface this in a little bit. Then you start layering it on top. And it's not immediate. It has to become a ritual. It has to become a habit. It has to become where you feel weird if you don't do it. In other words, it feels weird when you don't wake up early or it feels weird. Yesterday, I set my alarm and, and the tag was for Friday and yesterday was Tuesday. So my alarm obviously didn't go off because it was the, the tag on the alarm was for Friday and it wasn't Friday and I, and I missed the gym. And you, I had that feeling throughout all of yesterday of just like that angst because I didn't go to the gym. And that's in, and then I started eating like shit, and then I had oatmeal at the end of late last night, like 7.45, 8 o'clock, because I was hungry, and I'm making up all these excuses, and then I'm walking around today, my pants are a little bit tighter, and that's the thing is that because I felt angst, and because I didn't uh, follow through with my habit, my entire day was fucked. So number one is you have to install for 30 days where you feel the fear, where you feel, not only feel the fear of not doing it, but you feel the angst of not doing it. This is the preface on top of all of that. And I and I got this from, I think, Ed Millette. 
was it Ed Millett or, or someone else? It, it might have been Ed Millett, is that he said two things, is that when you actually do the habit, waking up early, going to the gym, approaching a pretty girl, producing content, focusing on Instagram, getting into self-development, whatever the case is, once you start layering those habits, it actually, and you guys already know, bleeds into other areas that you had no idea. Areas that you wanted to improve, but you, you just didn't have the, the motivation or the oomph to go and do it. So in other words, this is the best case scenario. I wake up early, go to the gym, start making sales calls, produce content, and because I, I did all of that, you're on the success habit, you're gonna start eating right, or you're gonna approach that pretty girl, or you're gonna ask for more business, or you're gonna be bolder, or you're gonna be following up more aggressively in sales, whatever the case is, whatever you want. And the second thing with that is that you don't wanna break the success streak with say eating improperly or eating donuts. In other words, it's easier to say no when you have the success. So the easiest way to mo actually layer multiple habits is actually just doing one. And just when, once you have that angst of saying, you know what, I, 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 I can't not wake up. I can't not go to the gym. I can't not meditate. And it becomes that, that, that feeling inside where you say, oh, oh, you know, Tra Travis Pastrana, I brought this up before. Travis Pastrana has that, that feeling when he's not pushing himself, when he's not doing something insane, when he's not doing a double backflip on a BMX bike, he just has that internal feeling of like, oh, because he's not, he's, he's too comfortable. Okay, a lot of people have the opposite way, including yours truly, is that when I'm going too hard, when I'm going too fast, when I am feeling all the fears and I'm doing it anyway, I have this like, ah, oh, I'm really uncomfortable. It's the opposite in these extreme sport athletes where they're saying they're too comfortable, they need to do something crazy. And that essentially just, that evolves the sport. So I think that the biggest takeaway that you wanna, that you wanna obviously take away is that you can't go crazy with, this is the best way to do it, is that this month or this quarter, that's probably the best way to do it, is this quarter I'm just gonna focus on this. Then this quarter I'm gonna focus on this. This quarter I'm gonna focus on this. And actually I'm, I'm reading through Jeff Bezos, two of his books. Number one is The Everything Store, and I forgot the, the second one, but there's two very good books about Amazon and Jeff Bezos. And he actually has something that's very interesting. He actually has something called the, the future PR release, the future uh, press release. And the, the future press release says, at this time, we've already launched this product and I started thinking about that. So in other words, say today is 2018 or whenever you're watching this video, 2019, you have a future press, press release for a year in the future for a feature that you've already created. How do you take that inside? Is that you say, I have a future press release, it's kind of living into it of losing 15 pounds, of going to the gym. By this date, I've already incorporated these habits. But the thing is, they then work backwards and they say, okay, this is the press release. How do we launch it? How do we actually build it? How do we actually plan for it? Who is gonna be on the team? Okay, so they start today. Who is gonna be on the team? Who's gonna build it? How are we gonna actually launch it? Going all the way to the future press release. And that's the exact way that I'm actually building my business right now, which is by 2019, I'm gonna have this. By 2020, I don't have the future press release. But that's a great concept of by this day, I'm going to, and then the, uh, this is the last thing I'm gonna say on it because the video is going. Oh, accountability is everything. Accountability is the, the only way to take action because no one's gonna be accountable for your success. No one, nobody cares about your success, okay? Y you think you do, but you don't, okay? You care, but you really don't because you don't wanna do it. And if you wanted to do it, you would have done it already. And that's exactly what I've thought about it is that, you know, yes, I'm the only one that's accountable. The government doesn't care, society doesn't care, social media doesn't care, your girlfriend doesn't care, your boyfriend, your family, nope, your friends, nobody gives a shit about your success, okay? They want you to succeed, but they sorta are like, well, well if he succeeds, what, where am I in my goals, okay? So they start doubting, maybe they don't say it to you, but then you start doubting yourself, okay? You're the only one accountable. So hold, how do you hold yourself accountable? This is how I hold myself accountable. Number one is I wrote a check to a person that I don't want to receive it, a political figure that I don't want to receive it. It's already out of my bank account and it was sent to my friend and I said, listen, if I don't do this in November, 
send it off to their campaign contribution, okay? So that was for um, the way that I was gonna win my day. You're winning the day could be totally different. You know, what time you wake up, what you do, blah, blah, blah. But the money's already out. So in other words, if I do it, I get the check back, it then gets redeposited into my bank account, and then next month, it's gonna be 10% more, okay? 10% more money, 10% more activity. So in other words, that could be sales calls, that could be you know making video content, that could be writing, that could be blogging, that could be anything. And this is the last thing I'll leave you with, even though I've said that multiple times, is that Stephen Pressfield says, if he misses a day of writing, it's, it's, it sucks. But if he misses two days, he's likely gonna miss a third, and then a fourth, and a fifth. That's the biggest thing, is you have to get back on track after the first day. So, after a first day missed, hopefully not. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. Obviously, subscribe to the video. And of course, if you guys have any content that you want actually brought up, I'm, I'm going with you on this, this self-development path. I'm going with this where you, you remove things that are not good, and you install things that are good. I just know that I can't do multiple habits at the exact same time, and the only way to do it is when you say this is the most important because it's early in the morning this is the second most important and then you do this for the next quarter and then the third quarter and then the fourth quarter that's the best way do it for three months then another one for three months and then another one for three months and then over time you're gonna say holy shit you're gonna look back in a year and say holy shit I'm actually waking up early going to the gym and making sales calls imagine waking up early going to the gym making sales calls and content creation that's essentially what I'm gonna be doing in November so if you guys have any questions leave in the comments below have an amazing day.